problem that we were trying to solve uh, and the reason why we looked at OpenStack is uh, in our data center before we used OpenStack, we had a lot of uh, technologies using virtualization like VMware um, and some bare metal, but most of them were delivered in a not cloud or not on service basis. So most of them were t based on tickets, took long hours, long time to, even VMs took a few days to deliver. Uh, we were looking at something that we could provide as a cloud or as a service and we started looking at our products and decided to um, look at OpenStack. So basically Adobe, um, you know, over the last five years uh, tried to change their whole business model from the, you know, licensing based uh, to a uh, subscri subscription based, you know, business model that requires obviously all cloud uh, you know, native approaches. Uh, so, uh, for our internal IT group, uh, we needed to actually also uh, adapt all the cloud um, technology to meet that goal. So, um, definitely, it was obvious thing to do for us. Actually. We didn't feel there were a lot of alternatives out there. We felt. OpenStack was the only alternative if you pro if you want to provide a cloud-based service in your data center or data center as a service. Um, then one of the best things about OpenStack is it has very well developed and well published publicized APIs, um, and the amount of projects that are being added all under the same API umbrella. I mean, kind of like the same framework. Um, that's what drove us to choose OpenStack uh, to deploy our private cloud? You know, short answer actually, it was obvious to choose OpenStack because that is the de facto standard for at least for the private uh, platform, cl private cloud platform. Uh, and we definitely we would like to utilize all those standard way to deal with uh, uh, cloud platform. Um, it's been great. Um, we have we have been using OpenStack uh, as a dev test QA environment for over a, over a year year and a half. And it, I mean, from all uh, data points, it's been actually better than what we had expected. So uh, some of the workloads actually run faster than our older uh, you know virtualization platform. Um, Users love the APIs. Um, they are actually asking for more, you know, newer APIs, newer version of OpenStack, so that they, they can do more, like some of the newer uh, application deployment and orchestration APIs that are available in OpenStack. So um, we just deployed a new version of OpenStack, and hopefully that will solve some of the you know pent up demand on how to use OpenStack internally. So. Um I had uh, you know this OpenStack experience uh, over the like uh, three or four years, um, so I've been involved in OpenStack since for some release, and um, we've been using you know all different uh, you know releases of OpenStack, and honestly the Forsome was not really ready for production environment, and we saw that um, the you know as a, as we have more releases, new releases is really getting towards to you know to the real you know production quality um, so right now we're using kilo based uh, OpenStack environment um, according to the all my experience with all different version this is really our best uh, so far and of, of course you know more even recent version of Mikara or Liberty probably even better but even with kilo we are really uh, seeing that uh, you know, you know, required uh, stability and scalability you know, in many aspects is, is really production uh, uh, quality.